Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel Pisces. I hope you are doing well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today, it is for the Pisces sign. Thank you so much Pisces for supporting the channel. Thank you so much Pisces for being here. If you would like to further connect with me, please click the bell. Please click subscribe. Let us see what is the guided love reading, love message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know. This is a love reading, a love message for the Pisces sign, okay? What is the love message? What is the love reading for the Pisces sign, please? Let's look into your person. What is their current feelings towards you, Pisces? What is the love reading? What is the love message for you? The hangman. I feel like, Pisces, you're dealing with someone who is... I feel like someone you're dealing with, they're making you wait, okay? The temperance card, the judgment card, and the hangman. I feel like you know, you know in your heart that this person likes you and they're very slow in terms of making a decision um i think you're also aware pisces that this person it's taking them so long to decide it's because they've gone through some sort of metamorphosis maybe they've gone through some hardship maybe there was like divorce maybe there is some sort of separation in here but you have someone particularly and i could feel that you're waiting for this person i feel like you're waiting for this this person um they're quite scared pisces they're they're scared to fall in love the temperance card romantically there's someone who hasn't let go they haven't decide whether when to actually return the unanimous decision of this person is they want you they would like to go back but to initiate when to go back and somehow reclaim whatever you've left in the past that is something of a hangman energy the judgment card they're listening to you it means that this person is somehow watching you uh, they're liking your pose um, they might have you know send you a generic message or email like happy new year merry christmas or happy valentine's or it could be happy halloween so they might have sent you that generic email they're scared they're scared to start with you because they know that you would fall in love and they don't want you to get hurt because if they start pursuing you again or if they start connecting with you they kind of know that you would fall in love, that you would want them back, and then they might just disappoint you because they're very indecisive. So they want to, somehow, they want to make you wait until they're confirmed with when do they want to commit. It's more of like this person's heart, you know, I'm kind of picking up like their heart, like there's, there's something center of their, like their heart chakra is kind of weak, um, Pisces, okay? like um they could still be healing or broken from a past something ongoing maybe this person is going forward some divorce maybe some financial problem but you know what if you met this person um during the time that they were fully available this person can make you really happy you connect with them in chemistry like you have a chemistry like humor passionate the the dynamic between the two of you it's very very unforgettable okay it so happened that you met this person and they're not like they're scared to take a risk pisces like they're scared to take a risk let's see let's see what else is coming towards the pisces sign you've got the emperor card you could be dealing with an aries the strength card it could be a leo You've got the Knight of Wands. So the second reading, Pisces, it looks like this is a person that is romantically linked with you. And there's definitely like there's definitely like an age gap. Okay. I'm really picking up at least a three, three to five. Okay. 
there's like an age gap between the two of you. You might even, maybe there's a big age gap. Um, you might even, I don't know, maybe your friends or you and this person would tease each other because, you know, I could be your auntie. I could be your, you know, like your sister, like early elderly brother or elderly sister. So I don't know. I get the feeling that there is some sort of joke, like a, a humor about some age gap. Now, you could still be talking with this person. This is someone younger than you. I'm really getting like someone younger because maybe you're younger or they're younger, but there is a, there's a very playful Knight of Wands, the Strength card, the Emperor card in here. If someone ghosted you or someone is spacing out and it's someone younger, um, it's possible that this has happened already. It's because because there's an emperor. This is like an emperor versus a knight of wands. So if they kind of ghosted you or space out, it's because this knight of wands, they think that they cannot manipulate you. Like they think, like this person, they want to be an alpha, but they couldn't be an alpha because you are an alpha. You're more experienced. So somehow they're quite insecure of the age gap. Also, if it's not an age gap, it's possible, Pisces, that you're more powerful or stable in terms of finances. So this person, it makes them insecure. And if, like what I said, they're spacing out because of that, you know, insecurity for some of you, it's something about, I don't know, I get the feeling that you are, like, they couldn't fool an emperor card. You're like, they couldn't fool, like, it. it's, it's my playfulness my playboy for some of you this could be a player it wouldn't work with an emperor like um they believe that um like you get the feeling that i don't think i will make you fall in love with me emperor okay because this is you the knight of wands so they have that um and this person is like um it's like a vibe that i need to take you seriously thank you spirit i got it because they're a knight of wands they met you and they know that you are a person to be taken seriously and if they behave like you are an emperor and they need to take you seriously if they space out it's because their energy their charm it wouldn't work with an emperor okay it's like you're a ceo you're you're like um i don't know you are someone alpha and class and respectful and also you've got some amazing financial stability so this person's like it's not gonna work my charm wouldn't work for an emperor like you pisces you could also be like a pisces um aries cusp okay but it's like i cannot you know like it's they're kind of insecure or i won't be able to charm you but i don't think this person is is surrendering <laughs> It's like a it's like a player who is in love or is about to fall in love with you and they have to drop the player um the player vibe in order to fall in love with an emperor. It's like you are a good catch and they don't want to play with you. Maybe you met this person when maybe you met this person and they're kind of testing the water, exploring, exploring and dating. When they met you, they know that you could be the one or you are someone who is to be taken seriously and they have to stop because they don't want to hurt you but i don't think this is this person is completely gone i think you miss this person this person is very playful you know uh they're very playful very charming you miss this person they're still being a knight of wands let's see yeah the six of pentacles um they're trying to figure it out when will they stop being a knight of wands like Maybe when you met them, it could be online dating. Maybe when you met them, there is some sort of, there is there is a, some, like maybe when you were dating or getting to know this person, there could be a couple of people that they're also talking in in, para, in parallel with you. Because the Knight of Wands and Six of Pentacles in here, it will, it kind of will happen where, 
it's giving me this feeling that they'll eventually have to drop the knight of wands energy because the six of pentacles it's kind of tiring like this person feels like it's exhausting to be talking to this person talking to you pisces talking to this person so at some point they were able to scout and one of the best you know person that they probably met this year or in the last 12 to 16 months was you this person is like you are to be taken seriously and i'm not ready for that like you are to be taken seriously you know with the emperor card you pisces you are taken you are to be taken seriously i'm not ready for that i'm, I'm gonna go back and you know fish and then six of pentacles in here eventually they're going to stop fishing and i see i still i still see you in this person reconnecting i'm not sure if you're interested but that's that's the that's the plan of this person yeah um it could be by the time this per maybe this person came back in september by the time this person comes back you could be into a new dating and getting to know scenario for some of you guys i still see you interested with this person but oh yeah two of pentacles you could be dating someone new now but i still see you and this person connecting reconnecting it's gonna be a mismatch pisces i'm kind of picking up like when this person wants to get things serious with you you have someone new yeah like okay i want to i want to be serious now and then you've got someone two of pentacles in here yeah two of wands you've got two wands in here look pisces this is your collective reading this is a love reading this is a love message for the pisces sign thank you so much guys for supporting the channel thank you so much guys for being here if you are um if you're resonating with me you know please don't forget to click the bell and click subscribe it is such a pleasure doing the reading to you guys i will see you soon you have a great day bye bye